My dad, no matter how much of a rice my mom put it in his rice bowl, he always left two tablespoons full of rice. He was very health conscious. He would eat pork, his favorite protein, beside the fish. I was born and raised near the Pacific Ocean. My backyard was basically Pacific Ocean. I could hear at night the tide from the Pacific Ocean. We were that close. Not even a two minutes walk. I walk out and that's ocean right there. We were very exposed to those kind of seafood and fish as well as in the field we had beef, pork, chicken. That is in our diet. My dad loved those pork and fish, all kinds of protein. He was not picky eater. He is a very adventurous eater as well. He ate anything is healthy, he ate. Also, he loved to move. He took seat out of his bicycle so he could ride without the seat. So all on his legs. If you've been to Asian countries, you will know Korean's landscape is not flat land. There's mountains everywhere you could see, and there's ocean, there's some a city like Seoul, there's a river across the city, and no problem for him. And his goal was, I'm gonna be strongest man in my age group. Even though he was lifelong alcoholic till my mom passed away, even so, his liver was clean. He didn't have any issues with his organs. He was lean, very strong man. And there was my mom. She didn't have a good teeth. Therefore, her choice of food was soft food, like rice and the kimchi, or bibimbap with eggs in it, udon, noodle with anchovy-based broth. She didn't work out and she produced five of us. I think that was a very hard on her body as well. She was a big lady. She couldn't waste the food. The Korean has bloody history, right? We were under the hand Japan for the 36 years. And after that, there was a Korean war and there was a dictatorship. We've been through this hard bloody history with a little food. She cannot waste food in those times, mothers, grandmothers. These were the people who brought us out of bloody ash history of Korea to where Korea is right now. So think about the two tablespoons of the rice my dad didn't finish. My mom had to finish it. What happened to her? <laughs> she developed diabetes. She took pill for like since, you know, 40s till the time she passed away in 70s by colon cancer. She wasn't a healthy lady. She wasn't a dramatically stronger lady. She was a homebody. She stayed sitting a lot. I look like my mom. I used to love the food my mom loved. The fresh rice with you know, toasted dry seaweed with just kimchi and a loaf of bread, yummy rice cakes and a cold noodle. My mom wasn't adventurous eater, but my dad was. And also, I love the food my dad loved. Hamburgers, cheese, anything. Anything edible, I would eat. My dad had a really distinctive style of the walking. I have that. When I visited Korea, when my dad passed away with my children, I was shocked to see how all of my brothers and my nephews and nieces walk like me. Just the way my dad walked. I was blaming for this genetic for a long time. I got my mom's gene. I cannot lose my weight. I don't have a good teeth, just like my mom did. I love the food my mom loved. And bubbly, good laugh. It's all from my mom. And also, I love to move. I have a very good energy. I walk like my dad. I'm a very good adventurous eater. I could eat anything like my dad. My dad was alcoholic for a long time. My mom was allergic to alcohol. Now I move like my dad. I need to work out. I'm a little chill like my mom. And also, 
I'm hot headed, like my dad. I used to drink a lot. I can handle alcohol like my dad did. But now I can control it. So which side of the genetic do I get? I wasn't comfortable with my size. I didn't like myself. I didn't like my size. I ate like my mom. And now I'm turning into more like my dad. My point is that what kind of a uh, genetic did you get from which side? You didn't get it just from your mom or dad. You got it from mom and dad. And before your mom and dad, there was your mom and dad's parents. And there was grandparents. It's beyond your grandparents. These all formed us. That makes our body type. I look like my mom. Does it mean I'm gonna look like my mom when she was certain age? I don't look like my mom at when she was 52. I eat very differently. I live very different life. Life I'm living with Sean, my husband, and raised our children and the way I live is very different. Do you think environment form your body shape and weight? Do you think how you sleep, how you move, how much of uh, activities you put it in to your daily basis, change your body shape and the weight? There was an article I read when I was teen. That was in 80s. Wow, long ago. <laughs> they were talking about this the influence your mom and dad give it to you about your weight problem, your addiction to food. What I remember it right now is for female, if you grew up in the household, your dad is was alcoholic or is alcoholic. Those girls who grew up in that household became obese or overweight. I was hold on to that thought for a long time. I blamed my weight problem the things I cannot control to my dad. Now it totally makes sense. Think about it. I cannot control my cravings. I have to eat. I have to eat the rice cake. I have to eat the rice. And I have to eat this hamburger and a pizza. Oof, my mouth is too greasy. I need the ice cream after. <gasps> too cold and too sweet. I need some spicy tteokbokki. I don't know that study still hold a place these days. I am not the same person than when I was teen. Now I'm thinking that was BS. I like to call it BS. BS, I will treat it like a BS. Do I still need blaming for genetic or environment that I grew up control? Should I let those things dictate the body I want to be in? Where's my action plan? I'm not gonna let those happen to be Second opinion. Do you remember second opinion? Second opinion is opinion you want to hear. Would you let this second opinions of life is chasing after you to make your life determined by it? I just want it to be my own. I want it to handle on my own hand. Life on weight loss and I keeping the weight off it's not the destination you are looking for. You're gonna keep going. You keep losing the weight. You're gonna hit the plateaus. You wanna still keep it going. Next level, next level. That's why it's fun. Protein intake, vegetables, and enough water, carbs, but control it, fat, and enjoy glass of wine here and there. Enjoy little tiramisu over here and there. But you're gonna continuously going. Enjoy this journey. Let's stop talking about the genetics. I don't know what kind of, what part of the genetic I got from my mom or dad. They are all in me.